talking to you about your pursuit and passion. My it's, man, cool. my man, inspire us. It, it inspire Ooh, us. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Got a lot of Let's pressure go. here. Got you. Opportunity. So those are just words. You know, those are just words. 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 All I have to offer is words. Just words. Nobody cares. Oh, no. Nobody cares. What it do, what it do, my beautiful peoples. My name is Ron Kane and welcome to Just Words Nobody Cares. We're here on deck. We got a phenomenal special guest and a co-host, a guest, special co-host guest on deck as well. Uh, things are just always falling into place beautifully and naturally as they should always. But before we get started, let me make sure I intro my brother, my main man, Dre Drizzle. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? How you doing today, baby? I'm doing all right, man. I did a, a, a little experiment uh, this past week, not to complain the whole week. Almost. That shit's pretty fucking tough, bro. <laughs> I slipped I slipped a lot of complaints in that. I caught a few, but a lot of them shit slipped, especially today. Take that fucking <laughs> Yeah, like life is beautiful. Like, however, <laughs> a lot of however that butts in that motherfucker. But I'm gonna try to get next week. It's see what's technically up. not complaining unless you start off the sentence by saying "coña super okay." Exactly, exactly, yes. exactly, exactly, exactly. I ain't count the complaint if I caught it. So if I caught it, I was like, if you self check yourself. Yeah. Okay. But a lot of them shits, I'm like pretty that. sure slipped, slipped through I, the cracks. What, what inspired you to get TikTok. that? TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> fucking TikTok got me doing some other shit, bro. Who was the white influencer that told you about it? <laughs> some motherfucker in the room laying on the floor, bro. Motherfucker got me looking for my spiritual side, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? Sorry, I to say. My motherfucker got me waking up at 4 30 in the morning. So there we go. He's doing something right. Did you complain the first time you had to get up at 4 30 in the morning? Or uh, yeah. you were good? That was good. Okay. You do this thing where you don't touch your phone for the first for two hours. hours. That's another motherfucker that got me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, got, you, got to, you got to change your uh, TikTok out. No, I got to find uh, one motherfucker because I'm going to go crazy. I'm about to take my notebook out oh, and take some shit. notes. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> oh, man. And that lovely and phenomenal voice that you're hearing today on deck is our special co-host, Noemi Diaz. Yes, yes. Hello, Kenny Hente. the uptown. Que mal le digo. Que mal le digo. Yeah. Ever since we've crossed paths, you have been a person of very few words, but a lot of action. Eso sí, verdad. <laughs> there you go. I, I be catching her at the randomest spots, like town hall meetings. What? Oh, that's what's up. That's my new chill spot. Yeah. Word. Word. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm like, hey, what's up, the other person under 50? <laughs> 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 yo, uh, when it, it can, yeah. yo, there's nothing but like silver gray hairs and frumpy faces. And yo. let's talk about complaining. Yo, let's yes. talk about oh, complaining about it, that. It Tell it me can, about it. Una vaina del diablo. Like, it, it's pretty wild. So, when I first, you know, crossed paths with you, I locked eyes and I was like, hey, we see each other. We see each other. And we were just like, yo, I've seen you elsewhere. And then we remembered that actually through our guest today our special oh. guest it was one of the first or second times we probably crossed paths and it was at um something really cool that is hosted uh, every friday called viernes sociales mm -hmm. at a phenomenal local retail showroom i call it a show not a mm -hmm. retail shop a uh, showroom called the chop house by mr f a FW. It's Mr. Footwear or Mr. FU. Uh, how I, I believe it's a play on footwear, but it looks like FU. Yeah. So Mr. FU, and it he has great stuff, man. Like I see, I see everybody that's somebody in our hood rocking his gear. Yeah, so know. absolute shout out to my brother uh, Diddy that has the Chop House and his clothing label, Mr. FU. Or Mr. Football. And and I made it very simple because I'm wearing it right on my chest. Yo, literally. So you're just reading. That's beautiful. <laughs> I was looking out. Yo, was that's looking the spot out. we went to, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a dope spot. Awesome that's spot. a dope spot. No, bro. Okay. Like you in the heights and you don't think we should exist. Nah. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty dope spot. <laughs> it's pretty good. And so, but our special guest, our one of my, I would say, 
Damn man, I've known you also since like I was what, like 14, 15? Like yes. I, would, I used to whoop this man's yeah. butt yeah, in fucking too. NBA Live. Oh, yo, my shit, man. Like, what, which one though? Which yo, NBA man, Live? It was like Xbox the original NBA. 2002? No, it was probably. When was the Xbox original? Yo, but it was then. Yeah. Like, yeah, when yeah. the fr matter of fact, when the first NBA Live came out and I learned how to fucking hit the button and let it go at the right <laughs> spot, I said, hold yo, bro. Yo, <laughs> I can't wait till Mike <laughs> come back. <laughs> we got on deck, my brother, my man, Michael Diaz. Yes, yes. Thank you. And on top Thank of you. that, he's a local legend, comedian, actor, fucking fitness guru, uh, like literally everything <laughs> else. Not just because, like a dude that got whooped by a 14-year-old in the NBA. <laughs> I still I have, have very close family friends. Yes. Very, very oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Shadow Tower. I know, I know yeah. all your cousins. <laughs> all of them. All of them. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, of, one of my earliest recollections uh crossing paths with you used to be in a very notorious uh fitness center <laughs> called big gym yes. on 181st oh, <laughs> wow. where tons of steroids and <laughs> back, back door activities will take place Boy. <laughs> i never made it to the big gym you never bro. made it no, to the big, to the out, big gym i took advantage of that free week yeah oh they had a free week too yeah when you oh, try all to the sign cousins. up but you don't sign up yeah oh. <laughs> that, that that was one of the original ponzi schemes because they were originally on one a uh like a 180th and St. Nicholas where the Lucille Roberts is currently yes. right now. Mm. Yes. And they went and they went to that other <clears throat> building and it was like $99 for the whole year. Yeah. Uh -huh. The only thing is they weren't open for the whole year. Exactly. <laughs> well, so they, they combined knowing people are not going to go to the gym all the time and then it was like, coño, pero $99, I'm good. <laughs> and and you're not the brilliant. it was the most sketchiest thing. Actually, one of my characters, Manny Mofongo, the personal trainer, was inspired by a personal trader that was there he wore a fishnet see-through shirt and was wearing chancletas and he was training women in that gym and i'm like how he didn't even have certificates <laughs> nothing and it was just creepy was well, there's a tattoo shop in that shit too and, and that was like three years later that was like a decade yo, 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 when they needed more rent money they're like yo, gotta man, open up man, a tattoo my shop man, my man my man you go up in there and you can get your protein shake. Yes, I remember that. You can get your injection for steroids. Mm -hmm. Then do your taxes. And then when the money that you will get in the rapid return, get your tattoo. Then work out. Then hit the then, happy hour. And then hit the happy hour. All in one space. Amazing. That's so true. Oh, oh Shout out God. for the business plan, Mosley guy. <laughs> <laughs> that made sure that he kept all the money in house. Monopoly. Oh God. You imagine how he presented this <laughs> like as a pitch. Ultimate idea. My business plan. No, no, no. Because what happened is, all right, you can get a tattoo. <laughs> See. And then drink the protein shake. Yeah. And then you have a personal trainer. You don't. You, you don't have to pay that much money to do a personal trainer. You want a certificate. So yeah. Oh, it was crazy. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we went on a side rant on the original. This is literally why I didn't have any questions lined up because I anticipated <laughs> yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, happening yeah, from yeah, the yeah. get. Yeah. Yo, but you mentioned something very key uh, from that brief exchange that I now made me completely forget about um, uh -huh. my my original correct uh, question or direction. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned something very key that. One of your your characters yes. was inspired by yes. someone you crossed paths with there, yes. uh, and the character's name is Manny Mofongo. Yes, yo, tell us more about your creative <laughs> process at this rate of how you referenced yeah. our neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for all your characters, for basically. All your characters. <laughs> so uh, my original thought process, um, as far as uh, creativity, is that look, I was born in New Rochelle. And my father was in construction, so he moved to, to Connecticut. We were like only one of the only Latinos, Dominican. So every time I went to Washington Heights, because all my aunts were in Washington Heights, 174th between um, Audubon and, and uh, Amsterdam. And so I, every weekend was like a ro like a little like trip. <laughs> Adventure. And to me, whatever every Dominican grows up with, I, I was like, I was with Peter, Brian, and Tom <laughs> Monday through Friday, but then in the weekend, I'm on there, and I, I, my, one of my early recollections is like, I would, uh, it would be like a Friday, I would get to my, my grandmother's house, and there would be like Mercedes Benz, you know, expensive cars parked in the block See. with Jersey license plates. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then by, then, then I'd go to sleep and all here, <laughs> 
by the time I wake up Sunday, uh, Saturday morning, it was on cinder blocks. And so it was like, literally, like, you know, so, so I was always observing. I was always observing. So when I got to a point when I was creating content, I didn't take anything for granted. So for sure. going to the big gym and seeing this guy, I'm like, this would never, you can't do this on East 18th Street downtown. You Hell need no. your ACE certificate. So, but then the thing about the Dominican man, how toxic they are, is that Dominicans have a he way of convincing themselves, like, no, I know. Like, I will, tr I will teach you because I convinced myself I know. So that bravado and that's, you know, the Manny Mufongo uh, character came out and it was like, he was just belittling his clients. Like, yeah. he was just like, no. And meanwhile, he's eating a sandwich. He's like, no, you got to do harder. You got to work harder. And it's like, my man, you're not doing shit. So <laughs> it was literally taking on that, that muscle memory of like, not taking for granted any person that is unique in our culture and in our, in our neighborhood. Yo, you know, hearing you exchange uh, that fun fact, let's backtrack slightly. Of course. And, you know, before Instagram, before, oh. mm. you know, Facebook, mm. before mm. MySpace <laughs> or coinciding with MySpace, there was a little website. Like Facebook? Facebook it, that no, no, Facebook don't pull. It, no, it, 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 it was before all Before all that. Before all, all that. that. There, there were like three top websites that I could recall that were networking websites. Nice. One of them was Local Hookups. Local Hookups. What is Z? What is Z? What is Z? What is Z? Hey, local Hookups. What is Z? Right. Wow. Yes. Where, and then the other one was Black those. Planet. Yes. Wow. And I then. just chose to. <laughs> and then there was me hinted.com mm. me motherfucking hinted.com mm. you're, you're talking to right now the member of the year 2000 yes yes that's where we were going that's where we were going with it the member of what was it what year? Uh, 2002 member of the year 20 years ago oh my god how am i not I'm not celebrating not 20, celebrate, years. Yo, 20 years 20 years you know, you know how many yo. burner accounts I, do you know how many yo. burner accounts i had to create to vote for me <laughs> That's where, like, I'm the original Russian bots. I created oh, thousands of accounts to vote for me to win in 2002. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you wait, you for real, but Maybe, maybe not. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses, so people are not... You know what I mean? Maybe. Hey, you... How many, how many, um... Yeah. um I don't believe him, though. <laughs> how many members or whatever you had on your shit? Like, yo, he had a lot. Do you say followers at that point? No, I, no, I, no, I didn't no. even know friends. 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 Was it followers? Friends. Oh, friends. 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 I think it was yeah. Amiguitos, right? Dude, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, our, your cousin Ed was a part of the HTML squad there. Uh, but they, <laughs> you had the messenger, but here was the crazy thing, right? So, like... At that time, they had this thing that they created was like a messenger before AOL chat, right? right. A messenger. But the problem is, if you were a player and you try to talk to like five girls at the same time, mm. froze your computer. Fuck so out of you here. Had a, yeah. So, they, had so they would pop up. They, they had like a little app thing when you could say, like, you want to chat? And it would come up like that. And then you're like, okay. But then he's like, oh, let me chat with. So I would have like five of them at the same time. Not saying that I was a player, but I'm saying. But you, you were starting conversations. Networking, yes. networking, networking. Networking. Okay. networking. Yeah. networking. Yeah. Come on. So I was networking with different individuals at the same time but it froze <laughs> but it was so innovative at the time there was so much stuff and that's how I learned HTML a lot of people at that time learned how to design their own pages okay. so by the time my, MySpace came around we were experts yep. yo I used that's to design true. my page where the, the the mouse cursor would change into someone <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, shit like yeah it had to be like some extraordinary shit like there was glitter there was yes. thing, like throw that throw that yeah. Yeah. La musica. that would crash somebody's Woo. fucking whole computer yes. and they wouldn't even see my shit <laughs> yo <laughs> you had too much shit going on. I bro. remember those people. I kept the simple. I, I, I had like, like four pictures that I had collaged on like oh, Photoshop man. one <laughs> as my my wallpaper oh my God. in the background. In the background. Okay. Oh shit! I'm not mentioning <laughs> names, but people that designed pages back then got ass mm. because they designed pages for women. I'm straight Ooh. up. I'm like they were they were up there. Like yo, if you design pages. That's it. You got life. Cooling. What yeah. year? What year? Me and Tesolo. 
Well, if you want to go on a deep dive on me, Hampton, let me uh, let, right here. I, I should do. You I are the do man. A you are the oh, man, bro. bro. I, I'll do the Google search. Get the okay? rights. I'll do the yes. Google search. I am game. Mm-hmm. I am yo, nigga. So, now we talking so all if we're gonna, yes, we're gonna be, yes, if, yes, yes. we want to go on a social, okay. on a social, okay. rabbit okay, hole. So check bro. this out. This is this because is how we're gonna be the fact checker. Huh? Fact checker, yeah, with the yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Fact checker yeah, definitely. definitely. Let me tell you when it started. Like, okay, okay. So when me hint started in December, oh no, October 2020, right? Damn. By the time, down by the by the time oh. it started getting into or 2002. 2002. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, yeah like 2020. Wow. He said that shit no, with so no. much confidence. October 2000, 2000 is what I meant. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not yeah. even, not even yeah. 2002. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> But where it started was... 22 years ago. 22 Damn. years ago. When it started was when college, uh, you know, the, the where the computers were all... Like, when people were... When kids were logging in on their computers in school, yeah. that was it. Because then it would became a thing where all these guys were going on me and to hook up. Mm. And then that was it. So once it started hitting all the college campuses, it was a wrap. Done. Because that was it. And because I had friends of mine, they're like, I can't have a me to page. I'm just getting harassed all day by these guys. Like, yo, what's up, ma? Before the dick pics and before all that, <laughs> it was just... So... Civility <laughs> reigned supreme and you guys didn't <laughs> appreciate it. Oh, shit. <laughs> no one appreciated it. Yeah. Hey, yo, my uh, what's up? No, 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 we we no but Lock the pics were hard back then. <laughs> Pause. Because you had to take a picture and then scan you it. Mean oh, scan it. You mean difficult. Yes. Yo, scanning. Yeah. Yeah. Scanning, you you scanning their own dick pics? Yeah. Yeah. That's the other way, bro. Oh. That was the other way, bro. You gotta point it out first, though. You yeah. gotta fucking yeah. point it out first? Yeah. So you mean with, yeah. your, with your sprint fucking... Three nah, megapixel nah, and gigapixel. Nah, nah, what what nah. was it? Oh, you you were doing it with a camera. camera. You had to do a digital camera. A digital mm. camera. And then Boop. down. Well, no, wait. I, is it? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you had yeah. different with, options with the USB pick ass <laughs> cord yes. connected to the scanner, not even the computer. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so the, yeah. the, then it can read into wow. that, or you had to print it and then scan it. Like, you're working. That takes a lot of effort to put a, a dick pic up, yeah. bro. That's, that's this much. generation that's, that's, does not respect work. the dick pic the way <laughs> it was 20 years ago. It's a lot of work to do a dick pic. And privacy, too. Yeah. Mommy, mommy, no, 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 entra. Mommy, no. <laughs> it's scanning, mommy. Yo, hold on, it's scanning. Yo. Yo estoy trabajando en la computadora, estoy aprendiendo algo nuevo. Yo, it's always trabajando en la computadora. Yeah, but to think about it, yeah. mothers uh, and parents back then didn't have to worry about that Como much. Que no, nigga? You were tightening up the whole phone line for five hours. <laughs> yes. Yo, that's uh, why you had to get two lines, yo. Uh, for uh, real. Oh, uh, man. Yo, all you hear was Pa' que esta maldita computadora, coño. Mira, yo estoy esperando una llamada hace cuatro horas y ese teléfono no sonaba. Yo estaba en la computadora. Me estaba llamando de Santo Domingo. The struggles. Yo, the it, struggles real it, 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 yo, but all that to say is that I remember I recall I forgot I right now I can't recall exactly what magazine it was that I had purchased it casually and yo I open it up and one of the ads is my boy Mike Diaz fuck out of here yeah? all, it, it holding like Pages or some shit, right? I remember him standing like this. I see, you know, mad good posture yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then they get the time had like these twenty four. <laughs> yeah. Big Jim, Big Jim, Big Jim, Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. No steroids, but Big Jim. Yo, with the boot cut jeans, yes. with the Tim's on, with the tight shirt. If y'all yes. niggas remember, yes. Yes. and my man was holding some shit like that, and on the top it said me and Dan. Fuck out of you. That's it. I don't remember that shit. I mean, it's they had to. You got a friend in your crib. They no, had to no, remember. Yeah. He they had to. Made 2002, the, bro. Yeah. Yeah. To make sure he got. Hold on, hold on, though. Mi gente had their own magazine on bugging. No, no, it was no, a regular was magazine. It was no, an ad. ad. It was an ad. Was an ad. A whole yeah. commercial. Yeah. Fucking made it to an ad, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Fucking congrats. Give that man some Yo. fucking Yo. honorable applause, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know he made it to an yeah, ad. Dogs. Back in 2002, right? Yeah, 2002. man. It was he like, started though in 2002. People don't know. I lived yeah. many lives. It's we celebrated your 20th year. Yeah, we celebrated that shit. We I was 16, that shit. 20 years ago. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, man. Yo, it's bro. Tough. And so I recall that, and I was like super hyped. I was like, yo, that's my boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, like, you know, we had cross paths, but it's a fucking big gym. And big yeah, gym. And, and the nigga be like, yo, 
it, I don't know what it was at the time, but it was my cousin Ed that, like, you know, paid for all of our memberships, right? I don't time. know so how I dropped that ball and I missed that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all my fucking cousins and, and, and my brother are coming back Jack. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what the your fuck? Brother, yo, yeah. yo. My <laughs> man. I'm like, what the fuck? That nigga ended up being a physical trainer yeah, after, like, after, that, after the fucking big I trained him. Gym. I trained him. You like, yo, chill yeah, with the yeah. train. <laughs> 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 and, yeah, and, yo, and so they... um. And and we we would cross paths, and the, in the gym we would we would go to a schedule where it was particularly empty, but Mike would be like, "Yo, can I join the set with y'all?" Like, but it was like five of us, Damn. It's, and so we were just like, "All right." So it, it ended up being like what well, should have been probably a thirty minute workout, mm -hmm. like two hours of, of us hablando yeah. mierda, yeah. yeah. using one machine. Yo, bro. Yeah, it would be like the lap machine, like this. Yo, like five of us. <laughs> But the time you get each other. Get warm. Yeah. You lose the cool. You get cold again. Yeah. You're just like this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me like, yo, it's your turn. Oh, shit, that's right. It's my turn. My bad. What was I doing? What week? Yo, bro, it got to a point that like six months into it, we were like, yo, we got to split up machines. We got to. <laughs> it's only right. It, it so, took a while. And, yo, no, months. no. It was a minute. And then dudes were like, coño, pero yo, I, come on, man. I want to I wanna chill with y'all. I want to chill with y'all. Yeah. And so niggas wouldn't fucking break up. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Was, and was, so all that to say, then after that, uh, you brought up, I, I don't recall vividly exactly how it came about, but you had this fucking crazy stupid idea at the time mm -hmm. of making a movie in mm -hmm. Washington Heights that worked with Dominicans mm. and that was partnering with local Dominican businesses to, in exchange, not only be featured in the film, but offer you the space in, in, in exchange to film there. So, like, it was a return, you know, quick pro quo yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. And nigga was talking a language that niggas didn't understand back then. <laughs> I'm sure if he's Dominican, they, they, they were like, una película. ¿Qué es lo que si tú quieres una película aquí? Telemicro, Telemundo, Univision, en español. No, it's in English. <laughs> Yo, and so my man was like literally walking yeah. up and down the neighborhood. I recall stepping to businesses before we even had the fucking script. Yeah. <laughs> before oh. trying to gain support and one in network. And the man was, yeah. you know, going in. And then he had, like, one of the bigger hits at the time. Like, yo, when he saw, I think, what I felt was the breakthrough was uh, the guy from Barcelona de la Mañana, was it? Yeah, it was the number oh, one shit. show in Barcelona yeah, de la Mañana. Yeah, yeah. And, and what was his name? Um, um, uh, um, uh, Jimenez. Um, Luis Jimenez. Yeah. 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 Yo, my man was super hype. It's like, yo, we're going to have the voice of Luis Jimenez from La, El, La Basilo, El Basilón de la Mañana in our movie. Yeah. Yo, mad yeah. everything, right? Yeah. How you got in contact with him? Um, I, Dude, like, that version of me was had no fear. Like, the oh, worst shit. they could do is say no to me. And I, I asked, and the funny thing is that they were planning to shoot a movie themselves. So they were like, look, as long as you're just doing audio, I'm down because we were shooting our own film and oh, it's going to come out. Up. And he was there. And then who who came with me to the studio to record? But Michelle Boutel, who right now is Survivor of the Thickest on yeah, Netflix coming yeah. out. Yeah. It was her and I, and yeah. we went. And we did the recording and the whole nine, and it was the beginning of the movie where she was my coworker, but she was talking to me, and she called up in Barcelona, and she's like praising <laughs> how she loves me and this, that, and the third. And I was like, yo, it was so, I, yeah, but at that time, again, it was like no fear. Like, I was like, my intention was creating art. I'm not trying to do any uh, anything else. And I guess people felt that. They're like, yo, this guy wants to do it. I, I respect his hustle. Yeah. That's and I up. just went in there. But it's like Dominicans... To this day, in a sense, it's like if it doesn't make dollars, it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, 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 okay. No, yo no, no, no puedo, no, 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 Mike Diaz, Juan Bago, uh, 2022, half year? Or was the 2000 or, tw or 2002 Mike Diaz, Juan Bago had 
it was a little bit more courageous. Well, you, you gotta, gotta, you gotta that. <laughs> no, you gotta realize that like the more you do things, the more you counter on the logic of like no, because if you ask them this, you you already played out so much stuff. So experience sometimes mm. as these obstacles, the obstacles that you already put in your mind that I didn't know, I have no idea how to shoot a film or anything at all, or I'm just going to go to the business owner and ask, but I'm not thinking, now if I'm going to the business owner, well, okay, well, if I want to shoot on a Friday at 7 o'clock, that's their peak off, you know, their peak mm -hmm. business yeah, yeah. and all that. So it's not the more of the fear or, like, there's more fear. It's just, unfortunately, when you come with the experience and you've dealt with a lot of countering and stuff like that, you're already playing in your head that you don't when you have no idea about something that you put your mind into, so. Okay. It's uh, it's just the nature of uh, we uh, we do things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after he was in the magazine, he was like, "I'm gonna fucking be hand the man of the fucking <laughs> year. Yeah, I'm yeah. taking oh, this shit time. to the next yeah. level." Yeah. I know you have a me hand the page, and I know you, I know you know who Latin Daddy is, all right? So let's not <laughs> Latin Daddy. Latin that's Latin. what it was. Yes. I forgot. Yes. 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 Latin motherfucking yes. Daddy. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. Yes. Shout Latin out to Latin Daddy. 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 My Latin bad. Daddy. I've been calling you Mike Diaz, Michael Diaz. <laughs> Who I'm Bago, but I forgot about Latin, Latin Daddy. Latin Daddy. Before? Which you, you Google now, it's a gay porn. It's a gay porn name, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have expected yeah. it to be anything else, honestly. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know. Kind of Was Juan Bago expired by somebody you knew, or you just made the character? No, so the way uh, the name Juan Bago, look, the, the original title was, um, I think it was like, what the, what the mind sees, but it was not mm. a comedic. It wasn't a comedic thing, and so it was like, what the mind sees. But then when you're pitching it to people, they're like, is it a comedy? Like, what is this? Like a psychedelic whatever? Mm -hmm. So it eventually became what the mind sees featuring Juan. I never had a last name in the movie as far as the original script. And then I remember, this This goes to show you the gringo ass that I am, right? So then I'm like, all right, it needs a last name. Well, he's lazy, right? So let's give him Juan Bago. So I trademarked it. I did everything with a beat. Oh, well, well, and so well. then I'm there. Shout out to my cousin Jerry, who I didn't tell him on the business end. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, yo, uh, we're changing the name of the movie to the story Juan Bago. And he goes, yo, so wait a minute, yo. So, <laughs> Bago, but it would it be? I'm like, yeah. Oh, and the director, Crystal Gatto, also a gringo, we didn't counter check it, right? We trademarked everything. You know, everyone that was a part of the, you know, on the business tip, whatever, just not like, we're like, wait a minute. And he goes, yo, but... Bago is with a V. And I'm like, fuck, too late. <laughs> We're going to go with it. So it's it's it, it came out of the main character. And it came out when I was, again, hustling, networking. And I'm like, yo, I got a movie called The Story of Juan Bago. I'm Juan Bago. It started to stick because mm. it was just like, you know, people were just calling that. It was easier. And it's like, and you know, like anything, when you're like Juan Bago, Juan Bago, like it had a it had flow a ring to it. It had 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 a flow before it had a ring to it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So that's where the, yeah, the original okay. thing came. Misspelled. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It depends who's spelling. Yeah. Facts. What, <laughs> what, what was the motivation behind wanting to, to do your own film? So I... Um, the Latino Film Festival. The, the H, well, at the time it was the HBO New York International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. um, back to me, gente. Uh, I had a friend of mine who was interning for Calixto. Uh, for the Latino Film Festival, and she kept saying, like, you're, you're funny. Shout out Calixto Chinchilla, right? Calixto Chinchilla. <laughs> it's like, a nombre de pinga, but oh, Calixto oh, Chinchilla. Oh, <laughs> talk, talk about flow. <laughs> That's a flow That's right a there. That's a great name. <laughs> you don't know my man Calixto Chinchilla, bro? Yo, you imagine, um, Chinchilla, bro? Yo, you imagine, um, who's our, who's our two o'clock meeting? Uh, a guy named Calixto <laughs> Chinchilla. <laughs> Yo, Yo, can we bump that I meeting up that, an hour? I want to meet this dude. That shit got a ring to it, though. Shout out to him. That shit got a ring to it. You know who he was? so true. He was Louis... Shout out to my man Louis Toma. Uh, he was Louis' fucking roommate. Oh, then. oh, 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 yeah, no, I remember. Back in the I days. remember. Back in the day. And my first time I met him, my man had a fucking Pentagon executive <laughs> desk in the goddamn living room for his meetings, yo. <laughs> okay. And this is in Wash Heights in the sala, <laughs> in the yeah. sixth floor. It was like the sixth or fifth floor. Yeah, man. Sin elevador. Sin elevador. Sin elevador. Ya tu sabes. And I thought <laughs> to myself, how the fuck this dust got here? <laughs> 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 
She clearly looked like it wasn't built in this motherfucker. I don't know how that shit happened. You look at that in the pyramid. You ask the same question. How was this built? Was this built by somebody else? Aliens. It had to be aliens. The only logical explanation is fucking aliens brought it up through the through the window and got it in. Yo, porque era una mesa del diablo. Yo. And there was no like pieces. It, that shit was like one solid oak. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the type of furniture you just don't move. Yo, you just don't move. move. Yeah, you just gotta stay. You can't leave. Uh, hell. So circling back, um, so I had a friend of mine, and she's like, "Look, you know, because when um, when we ended, that was my first voice where I did a lot of well these days memes and short stories and stuff." And she's like, Yo, "You should, you should go to the festival because at the time I thought there was just features, right?" But the film festival has a bunch of short films. So I went in 2003 with Ed's sister, Angie, Angie Cruz. Shout out to Angie yeah. Cruz. Yo, my man, but you just throwing out fucking, we throwing out man. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. And that's when I met Manny Perez for the first time. Get the fuck out. Because he had a movie called Washington Heights. Yeah. It came out in 2002. So I went to that, cool, whatever. And then... The following year, 2004, was when I went the whole, like, I went from Dominican night the whole time, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a short film. I want something to be in the festival. And then right after that, I did, like, three different movie outlines. I'm like, all right, I'm going to write one of them. Okay. And the third one was Juan Bago, and then that was when I was talking to Chris Delgado, a.k.a. Del Coquito, who had a friend <laughs> In, that was going to school, film school in Connecticut. He was like, yo, we're going to shoot. We're going to use his camera. We're going to make it happen. Just get me the script. And he was the type A personality you tend to have when you are an artist that needs to push you that you can't nice. quit. <clears throat> so that was the secret sauce for me because I'm like, all right, no. He's like, no, we're doing it. Okay. We're going to we're gonna shoot this. We're going to make it happen. And as time went on and I, I did the casting in my apartment Yo, literally I had a good this. cast I ain't gonna lie a couple uh, I think David was in it shout out to Mark I wanna, he was I in wanna it. hear about this casting yeah the Yo, fucking so mother and the father it, was fucking yeah. hilarious <laughs> quick, quick, quick short story hilarious. on the fucking casting process on the casting process quick short story <laughs> yeah. Yo, um, I brought fucking walkie talkies and oh we made it God. seem Talk. because yo we're in the projects in in the fucking projects. The bridge apartments on one seventy eight. I was on the oh, one in Wadsworth, yo. thirty second floor, thirty with, second with with, with the a, South View. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Wait, but them shits is considered projects. Nigga, them yeah. shits is not nice. They, they, Those two big towers in one seventy eight. Four. There's four. four. There's yeah. two on Saint Nick, one on Audubon, and oh. one on Wadsworth. Yeah. Crumbled. Yeah, they, they they look bad. Yeah, they you know <laughs> they're not they're not not projects. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let me all right. If they're not considered projects, they're not not they're, projects. They're pseudo projects. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh my god, that's it, right. It, it was in the top because you gotta understand the optics, right? Oh my god. And yes. Nowadays, so imagine sad. coming to Washington Heights or Northern Manhattan, and when you come up to Northern Manhattan, you're not necessarily near a train station. Mm -hmm. You're on one seventy eight six. I'm on one seventy eight in Wadsworth, so I'm like about a few blocks away from the one and a few blocks mm -hmm. away from the. But it, right th those middle. few blocks Basically. at that time was what I would call probably the core of Raccoon City. Oh. Meaning that before the zombies kind of like ventured out, they were all concentrated yeah. right uh, there. Yes. So your exposure to the visibility of certain situations and realities and lifestyles would be very prominent. So as soon as you come in, you're welcomed by this beautiful fucking top flight security guard of the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving how you're framing everything. This is optics. The way you're yeah. doing this right now is beautiful. And you're ringing on the doorbell. That reality doesn't work. Yes. So you ha you had to rely on someone calling you at a cell phone in oh. a peak period where cell phones were not as reliable yeah, as today. Yeah, and even today, they're still kind of finicky. You you're better Up off there? getting attacked. Up there? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Like, nobody ever gets service here. <laughs> and, yo, then, once you go into this building, once you get into the door, mm -hmm. past the door, because that means a doña, like, let you in, right? And once you're in the elevator, you're welcomed by this wonderful fragrance that these these buildings tend to occasionally have. Yeah. Not, all yeah. Not all of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to generalize. And then you go up 32 floors, walk down this 
dimly lit hallway that may not maybe make you feel safe, especially as a woman. Yes. Because we were we were casting, uh, we were looking for uh, in. We were casting the one like the two main women I remember yes, last time. Yes. Yes. And they gotta walk down like it's a pretty deep hall. You know, like yes. you're in elevador. No, no, no. You, right? Like, no, but <laughs> because I wanted to make it sound more official, I brought the walkie-talkie. Okay. And then said, "Hey guys, we have our next uh, cast member. Oh we, we have our next audition yeah. person. And yo, it's just us, but we got a walkie-talkie. Yeah, right? That's a small move, though. Let me, let, me, move, let, me, though. Let, me, let me add a little bit more layers. So I put casting out um, on a, like official ones, right? Oh, and so, <laughs> <laughs> on Latin <Great>. production, <laughs> which was it, but no, great callback. Um, but but I also looked at it as far as the optics as well. So what we did was we transformed. So I transformed my room into the casting room, but we it put a folding like the beginning table of casting Latin, uh, Latin Daddy. Daddy. Oh, but we, in the corner. But we, arriba. No, but we. This is crazy. We put a ta- a folding table out. Then we had coffee. We had the donuts. Then we had uh, uh we had like uh, a paperwork, and then we had staff, and then we had. I was the staff. The, staff. Yeah. <laughs> and the paperwork. And, <laughs> and then we had the camcorder because that was the 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 big thing was trust. Like most of the castings were Ripley Greer downtown and everything, and it's like a random casting in Washington Heights on the thirty second <laughs> floor in the projects. Damn. This is and then we had a couple of like. W- women lead so it's like where am I getting myself into on a random Saturday morning yeah, shout out to them cause they said fuck yo, it by all means necessary I'm gonna hey. get on film and I'm gonna do this they, yeah yeah so, do the yo, day women are beyond strong that. and shout daring. out to them shout Here. out to them fuck that by any means necessary yeah. <laughs> and again that's like the main message it was always the optics and what we were going against as far as like you know I'm going to and, and, and we're talking about I'm gonna go to Washington Heights you know Yo. like that was the time I was like I'm gonna Washington Heights so I I I am very grateful that at that time there was trust and you know yeah. we, t- we try true. to legitimize it as much as possible mm-hmm. understanding that we weren't doing the casting downtown got it but yes mm-hmm. that was uh, the walkie talkie cause cause then at least they're like oh wait they got walkie talkies that's, yeah. that's cool yeah yeah it feels official <laughs> it's, it's legit it's legit they got walkie talkies <laughs> they got walkie talkies the thing is that we <laughs> had his apartment flooded yes that many people showed up for Yo, the oh, man. my Yo. man flooded really we we had like with over models. 100. Yeah. No, I think it was like no, regulars. Yeah. No, wow. with models. You just see the bueno. Yeah, I'm going to do more casting. I'm going to do more casting. I was like, I'm going to do this weekly. <laughs> Daily. I was like, yo, I want to get down. <laughs> <laughs> Ron was on the side. I'm actually doing a short film. <laughs> Tomorrow, privately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have your email and headshot already on file. Yeah, yeah that's um, great. But you follow you. me on me, Henry. That's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> I also have a backup on local. Hookup. <laughs> so uh, but quick, we'll, we'll quick talk. side note. Another side note to my side note. <laughs> Mike was the first person to teach me about copy and paste and how to fucking create generic messages to uh, reach out to network with multiple people at the there same you go. time. Hey. Hey. This guy. Guys. Yo, so teaching the youth. This is teaching the youth. It's like that. What's that? Yo, what's that meme where uh, the two rappers and they're looking over the keyboard? Yeah. Who's it? Who is it? Future and someone else. They're looking at it like there's a. They're on the switchboard and they're looking over there. Uh, uh, yeah, I, edit it out. Uh, we uh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got hor- like nine cameras on right now at the oh, same time. Uh, horrible delivery. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'll look it up later. Yeah, and you can copy shit. and paste it. <laughs> Tag him. My bad, I was drinking my tea. So I, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was just trying to think of the meme. Like, have I seen that? <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Can you fact check this oh, shit? Sh- no, I'm just fucking with you. Yo, uh, where? I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> yo, and so, Talk to me. Because he goes, yo, don't. Why are you out here fucking sending individual messages? That's a lot of work. <laughs> that is a lot of work. Copy That's and like paste not that using shit. CC. You cut off a lot, lot of time copy and, copy and pasting that yo, shit. Yo, bro, he was like, oh, you got to do is this. Control C and control V. I was like, como? <laughs> Yo, bro, you gotta understand. Sixteen year old Ron didn't know. Damn. (laughs) Now they got building studios on Saturday. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. Yo, Uh, but in the end of the movie, Juan Baga actually got the job, right? 
if they, I remember correctly. They, he got the he didn't no. Get the job? no. He didn't get the job. He didn't get the girl. He didn't get any of that. So Damn. it's all right. Damn. Bittersweet, bittersweet, but it's I was trying to be realistic about it, you know? So, you never think of um bringing Juan Bago back? Oh shit. Oh, in a, oh, whole, different, in a whole different light, bro. How about Yo. we do a documentary or called Making the story of the story of Juan Bago. There you go. There you go. <laughs> wow. There you go. After we do the documentary on mehenta.com. Yeah, oh, yes, we got to do it. Yeah, yeah. We can milk it into a Netflix series. <laughs> Yo, but why don't we do, like, how long has it been since Juan Bago? Uh, that it premiered at the film for 17 years. 17 years. So. We, we we should host the, like a, a a brunch po live podcast event of you oh, with all the guests with all the with, actors with all and the production actors and everything and the, yeah, yeah. that would be that'll fucking be dope. dope yeah that would be, so, that'll that, be that's so gonna dope. be my goal for the upcoming I year bet. there but, we go but, there we go because we, 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 you no 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 encuentra no Drake future meme <laughs> no no <laughs> it's, it's two rappers <laughs> looking two rappers. over like a like a, one of these little keyboard thingies what what does it say though. I don't know. Oh shit! But nice. it's always used when, like, yo, they're trying to figure this out, and it's like they have it. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm at that age right now. I can't like. It's not. Maybe it's not future. It's like another. Atlanta. So it definitely is a, an Atlanta rapper. Atlanta rapper. Yeah, this is so, like, it's like a hundred. It's like a hundred. We'll, 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 we'll bookmark it. We'll come back to yeah. it. Tell me more. He got shades and dreads. <laughs> that narrowed it. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yo, fast forward. Juan Bago, mi gente, all that stuff. The internet still hasn't really caught on. Maybe YouTube started coming about. Yes. Right? Yeah. It is on YouTube. Well, I'm right? Nah, nah, well, I, nah that, that at that time, it had to come out in like Dino Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. My man was pressing no, DVDs. Saying, now, though, now, now, yeah. though, oh, now. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the DP of the film, he uploaded it uh, oh, okay. years back uh, on uh, YouTube. So nice, you could nice, see nice, it. Nice, nice. For the people that don't know what a DP is, it's a uh, director of photography. Okay. <laughs> yes. Just in case, because okay. I don't want them to be <laughs> miscommunicated with what yeah, Latin I Daddy it was is. Else. Yeah. 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 DP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, we move forward. <laughs> yes. And 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 yo, there's a period now where YouTube goes beyond uh, little cats. Because YouTube's first craze was little cats and mm -hmm. playing mm -hmm. and doing like little random shit. Yeah. Sure. Now you can upload a video that's longer than ten seconds or fifteen mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it was. And now you start making music. Mm -hmm. And you did a, a fuck. You pulled up Al Yankovic, right? That's yeah. It. Yeah. The, a Dominican Al Yankovic. A Dominican Al Yankovic. A, 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 a Dominican lip syncing. Al Yankovic. But but no, but your your lyrics were original. Oh no no, but I'm saying like the the fact that it was me and shout out to O, we were lip syncing the actual performers that actually were in the studio recording. You guys didn't rap. No, dogs. Please. <laughs> nah, that was, man. And we got a lot of heat. And it's so funny because now you had Jimmy Fallon. You had all these shows that do lip syncing. Nigga, stuff. TikTok is made on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But again, thinking about the future, we did that. We were lip syncing it because the. Oh, so continue. No, no. So I'll give you the backstory on how that all came to be. So my man pulled out uh, out of nowhere. You start seeing them in like. I, I'm, I don't recall exactly which local publication or or small internet latino public there weren't many of them but there mm -hmm. was like one at the time mm -hmm. and my man pull, pops out at the time you had to like scroll to search what you wanted to see but he had the top header hey. the one that even if you scroll still stays oh. yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, I know how you describe yeah. that. Dude, you made yeah. a move. It's just there. It's just it's just there. there. And you're like, it. yo, but Amila. Yeah. And so then you hit play, and it's my man Mike Diaz and O fucking doing a song, a parody song on Black and Yellow called Pan, Pan Con Queso. Oh, yes. motherfucking queso. <laughs> yes. I, what you just taught me right now kind of broke my heart a little bit. I it's okay. Laugh. No, please. I mean, uh, I mean, a lot of people. I, I, I thought you were rapping on it. No, 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 no. See. So what happened was, back to the film festival, mm -hmm. uh, Oh, in 2010, won the contest with someone else to do the red carpet. Okay. Uh, shout out to Rachel Aloka. Her and I were doing the red carpets for two years mm -hmm. prior. So it was sort of like a fraternity sorority. And then I stayed in touch with Oh. And then that, that winter, we stayed in touch. And then that February, it was like, no, January, he goes, dude, he texted me late night. He's like, dude, 
Black and Yellow Remix Pan con queso Hit Yo. me up tomorrow <laughs> And shout outs to Jeff. Jeff, I Yo, love it though. Just, I love it. I, I want to know how did the text come through? Was it a sidekick? Was it a fucking BB? Talk a Blackberry? Oh, oh no, I had an. Talk I had an iPhone. No, I had an iPhone. You had an iPhone. Yeah. Like, yeah, like it was. It was number I one. I don't even. Two thousand. <laughs> well, well, it was two thousand. It came out in two thousand eight. Screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Before the blue. Before the blue. Before I message. Before okay. I message. Okay. Oh no, this is way before. Yeah, no, oh, way man. before. <laughs> so, um, at the time, I I already had a relationship with a studio. Um, I was doing production stuff, so he kind of knew that we could do. We can cover all ends. Mm -hmm. So. That was that was like Tuesday. By like Thursday, we were in the studio. And shout out to Tommy Nibs, who passed away a few years ago. He was doing. He was gonna record the all the vocals and uh, Jeff LePay, who the one who did the rapping. And oh, looked at us like, yo, who's gonna lip sync to what? Literally, that's how it was. And literally that weekend, we shot the video. Then we took another weekend. We went and we did it a, a more scenes. Another week we edited it and then we just released it a week before the Super Bowl. And then the Super Bowl, because the Pittsburgh Steelers were in there. Oh, oh shit. it hit the algorithms of Twitter and everything. There was no and Twitter. There was Twitter. Twitter came out in 08. So it was like it, but it was in it was different Twitter. It was Damn. dark Twitter. It was it was the Wild Wild West Twitter, bro. It was bad. Like people got canceled because of that era of Twitter. Damn. But the Super Bowl was going on and people were catching on that there was this video because black and yellow was huge because yeah, yeah, yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. So and, and there were already a couple remixes, but there was nothing that was in Spanish. That was the only Spanish one. So even um, Wiz, Khalifa, uh, Wiz Khalifa commented about our version of it when in an interview, like, yo, there's many dope really? ones, but there was, yeah. yeah. So it, it, again, that, that you can't control it. You can't predict it. We didn't know. It was just something out of passion. We were just like, just have fun with it. Like That's bread, it. bread and cheese. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and so. Genius though. Genius. <laughs> genius too. So Basic. But genius. Just, yo, that was bananas, bro. That was been like it was just and it was just so crazy. It was just so like globally went viral, and then we had it on uh, Music Choice. Then the Mundo wanted Moon Dos wanted it, MTV Tres wanted it. Really, and, yo, like MTV Tres had it like on a top ten videos of 2011. What? It was just freaking oh, bananas, shit. yo. So, oh, yeah. So, That's but again, it was so organic. We didn't even. But there is that market for like parody stuff. And uh, and yeah, so like it was just, but we did lip sync, and it was so funny because we got <laughs> we got booked to do some live performance. What? <laughs> no you way! Mean, you can imagine. No fucking way! Yeah, 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 oh, Millie, oh, Millie, oh, yeah, Millie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How the fuck? But y'all should know the lyrics by that by that I, time. We were we to this day are horrible lip syncers. Oh <laughs> shit! But y'all ain't know the lyrics at that time. I, by it don't that? matter. I'm just horrible at lip syncing. <laughs> yeah. And so you that know was lip syncing if you know the fucking lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but why why'd you not rap it? I, yo, like no, not nah, not nah, these guys are talented. Like shout outs. Shout out to my cousin who did a couple of songs after the fact. And it was uh, it was it was hilarious. It was hilarious. If there's a, if there's if there's another documentary, we could do a documentary <laughs> on the Banco uh, Queso, bro. Banco Queso and uh, Dominina Heights. You know. Let so, me let me ask you this: you, Do you get any backlash like from Spanish people from Juan Bago? You know, portraying the Spanish people. You know. In one way, what do you mean? Like like. In a non-positive light. Yeah, 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 like in a like in a non-positive like even the Spanish, the the parents in Juan Bago was fucking. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying like like people like come at you for that shit. I mean, of course. I think you know we're in an era right now too where like you have to be mindful of everybody can get offended for any little thing. Exactly. Yeah, a yeah. lot of things could be triggering for a lot of things, and yeah. so. But, but but back then, you know, if, if you if you did the landscape of what comedy was back then, there was just so much stuff. Like, you, try to see what comedy is now. It's like, true, it's though. not yeah, how it yeah. is nah. before. Nah, you can't. You can't. Yo, you can't at all. By you saying that, it just reminded me that there's this beautiful scene. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, the He goes into the bodega, and they're telling the story. And the the dude that's playing the bodega owner, you know, I, I mean, to this day, they, they tend to be Middle Eastern or something. Yes. And, and he goes, 
it, um, Coño, what's the exact line? But something along the lines. Now hold me to it. But he's like, you see me? I make all these go boom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. What? What do you want? What do you do here? What do you want? I got a Mr. Bush on the phone. He looking for weapons of mass destruction, so I come here. You're not here for that. You're not come for that. You look for buy. You are here for buy. No, I like women, man. No, no, no. Buy work for you. You look for buy. Oh, oh Lenny, buy. Lenny, why not? I blow him. Poof, boom. You know, that's why they don't let you people in this country. You want to blow everything off. Yeah, I have right. I have right to be here. You don't have enough. You don't have enough. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. type of shit I'm talking about. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. Yeah, I was like, yes, tell me more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And it's crazy <laughs> because you know there's so much similarities yeah. with the Middle East, the Middle Eastern, and these bodega owners who know Spanish. Yeah. they are Dominican. You just wouldn't even Same. know. Mm -hmm. So that's where that character came from. Mm -hmm. But I have a story like I don't, I don't know. If, so you remember the goat? You know there was a goat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, we. So so the. What I learned about the experience again now, as far the, originally Juan Bago was supposed to be like a forty minute short, and so I know that Jerry probably mentioned it because I, I was listening to the episode. It's like originally it was a forty minute short, but as time went on, we kept adding and adding. And one of the first notes that I ever got when the film got accepted to the film festival, when people giving feedback, they're like. This is like a bunch of scenes put together that is a feature. <laughs> and my comedic ego yeah. at that time. That shit that was destroyed. You're talking to a 2002 <laughs> me hit the <laughs> member of the year. How the, fucking dare you? The know? audacity you telling me that yeah. it is not a feature. Jesus. But if you see it now, it's like that. There are yeah. films that are like, you know, extended in 40 minutes, extended in there. So we got to a point because like, and that was the other thing too. It's like, fuck you. haters. <laughs> Jesus. Where where are they now? Oh, no. shit. Um, uh, but but one of the things that so many lessons in that process because when you look at something so much, mm -hmm. you sometimes have to take a step back, right? And I think I got so caught up in trying to edit, 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 add, 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 add zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. So the original story got to a was just about this guy that was trying to get with a girl that he saw on the train and he was trying to better himself. But then it became a whole meta layer of <laughs> Jerry's character telling a story so that he could steal the goat yes. on the in the basement and so I had to get a real goat bro how the fuck you got that goat bro? let me tell you in New York City in so, New York City it was a kind of city I had to go to uh, Vivero uh, oh, how do you yes no wait, 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 wait. what so I had a Palestinian a friend of mine that knew oh, of a spot and we had to get the goat. And we had to put him. I'm about to go. Listen to this. this. So we had to we we had to we had to travel with this goat. You fucking kidding? Me. And we had to put him in the in the back seat in a box. And we get to yeah, the bodega. Though, right? Shout out to my uncle who had a bodega in Queens, and we had to shoot it. So <laughs> while we're doing the scenes upstairs, the goat is downstairs. And then back then, downstairs was where they were doing the numeritos. Yo. And you had these old school Dominican dudes in their eighties playing numerito. Okay. And we have a goat tied up. <laughs> and then and we we didn't know we had a time frame. But the old guy who was eighties like mira, si tú no filmas ahora, vamos a matar ese chivo y vamos a comerlo. So we were like, yo, we gotta shoot this shit because if this Chibo, he's not coming Yo. back, and I was—I didn't back. have to pay Shut for the Chibo up. because we didn't to plan to kill the Chibo. So <laughs> then we had. But then here's the problem. The Chivo was out loose as a free Chivo for half a day. That's to put up. the Chivo back in the box to bring it back to the Bronx was a mission at all that it attacked one of the persons that was in the back seat <laughs> to bring back this light Chivo or I would have to pay for this Chivo. I'm in fucking all right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 like, you got a fucking actual Chivo from the Bronx? A fucking actual Chivo. Brought it to Chivo. the Heights, tied and it to a bodega. No, to Queens. That, we had to drive it. Chivo, <laughs> yo. Shout out to and, the Chivo. Shout out to the motherfucking it, it, it almost brought it almost brought this 80 year old numerito guy to his 30 year old version of him he's seeing he's getting ptsd he's like i have a life chivo and i'm not going that to kill it why it. am i not eating right now so that the last is, thing is. i'm thinking as a filmmaker producer on set is like guys we gotta film this shit before this 80 year old is gonna kill the chibo because wow. your prop the... was about to get cooked, <laughs> get cooked oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
that's yo, so good. I would have to deal with Peter because this old eighty year old Newman. Yo, shout guy. out to your fucking determination, bro. Like, I actually yeah. got the Word. fucking chivo. And once you take a chivo out the box, it's hard to put that chivo back in. How big was this fucking chivo that you put him in a box? Trauma, man. Trauma. It was a big thing, bro. It was. It was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, no, I do it. No, because then that so it was a little baby. Oh, the baby chivo. Oh, the baby chivo. <laughs> yeah. So, so that that alone was a, a challenge of itself. Yeah, I could mm-hmm. not even imagine. Mm-hmm. So, so, but, but that scene that we we're talking about having that was not even in the, real, in the original version. That was literally Del and I in the weekend looking at it. it was like, what do we need? A chivo. Okay, a chivo. Just fucking just shoot the chivo. Wow. So it's fucking uh, amazing, bro. Yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah, amazing, amazing, revelatory bro. moment. For real. <laughs> that 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 itself is a movie. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> that itself is a fucking movie. Yeah, my dude. man said, "Yo, you know what we're missing? A fucking life chivo, a whole fucking goat, <laughs> <laughs> a real one at that, a real one. Like that, it had no pop chivos. Nah, nah, we gotta get a fucking. That's what's up. Yeah, that's I didn't even think they saw those in the movie. Well, or like, could I just borrow a chivo for I like see. a day? You bought it." No, I didn't no, have to buy it because I borrowed it. But if the, if the 80 year old Numerito guy would kill the yeah, yeah. I would have to, to be like, for it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked up right now. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. actually went to the Vivero. Yeah, yeah. Let me borrow Scoop a Chivo. You're like, you're and let they me hold actually this let you borrow the fucking yeah, Chivo? Yeah, man. You knew them like that, yo? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my boy knew. Shout out to NASA. He, they, there was a trust. To get a bunny, yo. Yo, yeah, yo there crazy. was the trust there. But then at that point where I was like, no, 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 this chivo has to come back. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I and know. that was more of the challenge to bring back this chivo. I got to give you, I got to give you your props. You got a chivo in, on credit, on credit. On credit. <laughs> that chivo <laughs> shit is real, man. Because I remember, yo, my, my first time I went to DR, uh, I went to, uh, where we're from, in our, like, Campo Campo, yeah. in San Pedro de Macorís. And they were, uh, they were like, oh, que tu quieres comer, mijo? What you want to eat? <laughs> and I was like, nah, nah, whatever. You know, we'll go get it. And they were like, no, for, you know, la visita especial for the, for the special guests. We always make something good. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Whatever you want. Don't worry about it. And I'm thinking we're going to go to the supermarket. <laughs> Wait, no, you would no, no, no. the odds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm America. I'm America. Gotcha. We're gonna gotcha. do gotcha. the livestock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas would walk across the street, yeah. like across the road. I got a random chivo. Y no te llevaron, dije, ¿cuál no, no, they, and, and they just walked me to like right there. And I'm like, oh, mira, te está bueno. Grab him, put like a rope around the shit's Damn. neck, throw the rope Damn. over a so random tree, time. hang the shit, cut open his stomach, and I, all I see is. Just nothing but guts spill out. Experience. Yeah, like, that one, I was like, yo, I ain't eating shit. Yo, I, I was about to be like, you, and then I, you became vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, right then and there. <laughs> that. Yo. Like, fuck that. Yo, hey, that's yo. the fucking process? Yo. Yo, you know what's so crazy? I think, I think every, Trauma. you know, that's, you know, I have a story that I've been telling forever and I actually wrote it in me and then whatever. Okay. But <laughs> common, I'm seven years old. I went to DR with my mother mm-hmm. and... Uh, I had no one to play with, right? It just it was just me. Be like and that. then my uncle <laughs> and my mom went to the way out in the outskirts in the campo on the Toyota four x four truck. We go over there, and there's a goat tied up, a chivo there. And my mom and all the adults are doing whatever they're doing. But I see this random chivo tied mm-hmm. up, so I'm playing with the chivo. And the <laughs> oh, whole nine. Okay. I'm seven. It's my pet. Right. So then I'm there, and I spend the whole day playing with the chivo because you know chivo eat anything. So you were just giving the whole thing. So then. And the day wraps up and I'm like fuck man you know I'm gonna have to say bye to the Chibo no the Chibo gets tied up on the 4x4 in mm. the Toyota in the back and I got to ride in the back with the Chibo oh. so I'm like oh cool 7 year old me was like alright that's my boy yeah. <laughs> cool oh, I'm with it I'm so I'm, sad I get, right now this is gonna be <laughs> me this is, gonna be this is me <laughs> hanging out this with the Chibo right <laughs> so then I go go back to the go back to my grandma's house boom they tie it up I'm having fun whatever couple days go by I'm eye. bugging out with the Chibo Next, Best oh, friends. A couple of days later, my mom was like, Vamos a Santiago. So we go to go to the wherever. I come back, no chivo. Okay. Then I look on the roof of like, you know, El Patio, and I see the skin, you know, on top. And my mind as a seven year old does not know how to register. <laughs> they didn't put two and two together. They didn't yeah, put two so I run, I run to the back to the kitchen, and I'm like, Abuela, she has a huge pot. She oh lifts up the pot as the de-skinned head oh. of the chivo. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm done. 
Yeah. I'm done. My uncle comes in. He's the one who did it. I'm like, oh my. I'm beating. I'm trying to beat him up <laughs> the whole night. I cry myself to sleep. Later on that friend, night, yo. we're going in. It's dinner time. I'm eating. I don't even know. And I'm eating it. And I'm like, yo, he, and that was the chibo. I had the chibo without oh, even knowing. Damn. I cried myself to sleep. And I'm like, damn, yo. So I didn't get it as vivid, but I had like three days. And that was my boy. Damn. Yo. Man, I, 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 I hit him and everything. Seeing the fucking head in the pot is kind of fucking dumb. Yo, cross eyed. Oh. Oh. He's skin like this, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty, and then my grandma's bad. laughing about it. No. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I hate that chibo. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Jerry knows. Jerry knows exactly the grandma I'm talking about. <laughs> That's pretty hard. Yeah. Shout out to the fucking Chibos out Chibos, there. Man. Shout out to the Chibos. I think there needs to be yeah, like a subreddit real. about Chibos. Yeah. We need a moment for the yeah, Chibos right yeah, now. A moment yeah, of yeah, silence. For real, because so. fucking Chibos, man. How, how, how did good, we get though, from Falcon Castle to, Yo, I, to <laughs> this? Yo, I, we're hitting the hour mark, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you should pay a tribute to that Chibos with up. the song. I, I, feel bad, I actually but. did, though, in the Juan Baga movie. You could say that. that huh? You you go you pay the tribute to the Chibos. Oh, so, okay, movie. that's where we went with about like uh, Latinos and and like how they how you how I dealt with yeah, with all of that. The bad guys. I think that as time went on, I I because again there is this there is a comedic ego. Right. The the a comedian has an ego. Right, they find their shit funny. Of course. Sometimes I don't give a fuck if I offend you or whatever. Sure. Yeah, right and up. so, but. You know, as time goes on, you have to understand that. Time has changed. But, but it's intent. It's intent. Like, if I... When I did Juan Bago, my intent was not to, like, do, like, oh, I'm going to make Dominicans look a certain yeah, way, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's a community thing based on my experience and stuff. Yeah. So I think it comes down to the intent of what I'm trying to do. And if certain people get offended, we apologize, but it's, it's not... Comedy. Yeah, it's, it's, comedy. it's comedy, and it's my experience. And, again, it's not something where I'm trying to set our people's back, you know, 10 years. Let me ask you this last question. You never thought of doing comedy, done comedy?